Hey adventure riders, welcome back on my channel. Today I find myself in Romania because I'm here at the Gibraltar race. The Gibraltar race, for those that don't know, is an adventure riding race for amateur riders and hobby riders. And it's sort of, I'd describe it like the European Dakar because you've got 15 days of race. Uh, it's all based on GPS but and off-road special stages. But the special stages, um, the classification is done in a sort of strange way because you've got your GPS points but you haven't got the track so you have to find the right way to get all the points and you have an imposed time. This means like it will say from the start of the stage to the end you have to take 55 minutes and 32 seconds and any second you, you take more or less you get a penalty. So it's all based you know, on consistency. I'm very excited because I'm here uh, to work. I'm here because I'm gonna check uh, the track. I'll be the track inspector. So every morning I'll start before every rider and check that the special stages and everything is working well. Today is day zero, day of the prologue. Here we have the riders in this. Uh, it's, it's all marked. Uh, it's about three minutes prologue. cool thing is that this time I also get the chance to test uh, a new bike I never tested, the Honda Africa Twin DCT. Takes a bit of adjustment to ride with the DCT but I took like 10 laps here in the prologue and started getting a grip on it but I'll let you know what my thoughts are on this bike. Meanwhile here it's really nice to see so many people, it's over 80 riders riding here and crossing Europe in this amazing event. As you can see, the lovely thing is that people come here with uh, all type of bikes, uh, of adventure bikes. So, you know, you see many people buy the BMW GS, the Onda Africa Twin and just use it on tarmac and go to work. But here, actually, they're using it for an incredible adventure. It's gonna bring us across Europe, so Today we're in Romania, also tomorrow, then we go to Hungary, Italy, France, um, also Slovenia, France, uh, Spain, Portugal, and then we end in Gibraltar. This is the bike I'll be using, the Onda Africa Twin uh, Adventure Sport. It has the DCT, this means it doesn't have the, the gears, like you don't have the gear lever. As you can see, it's really strange when you ride. I got a few times I was looking for the gear and also you don't have the clutch. This is only for when you stop. It's sort of a brake, handbrake, but you don't have the clutch. It's a bit complicated because especially every time you turn off the bike, you have to remember that you have to take off the ABS and then you can either go with the automatic uh, gears, which personally for off-road, at least here I didn't like, so I I, I put it in manual mode and you have here 
this is to pull down gears and this is to change gear but this i must say is nice i thought it would have took me longer to get used to it but it, it it's just in a natural position so when you're riding uh, it comes natural you just have to remember which is to shift up and which is to shift down but for the rest uh, i'll see how this bike copes with the off-road i've read lots of reviews many people say it's a great bike for off-road i'll give you my opinion after like six seven thousand kilometers another awesome thing i want to point out is that at this at this event uh people from all over the world come so we've got lots of people from the uk we've got some from south america even uh italians the dutch from all over the place i'm gonna try and vlog as much as possible of this event so subscribe to the channel and uh, please share it and I'll see you tomorrow.